Creations and I have another box that just arrived. I'm so excited. So this is my last box from all my subscriptions um, that I get. So the last box for February. I have another box coming from a company, but it's not a subscription. Um, but yeah, so this is my first time. This is the witch casket for um, February and it is from the UK. Yes, so this took a little bit of time to get here, but not too bad. And actually, by the time they shipped it, because they ship like the middle of the month. Um, oh my gosh, I'm already having allergies. It really didn't take that long to get here. So like maybe a week or something. Anyways, um, we're gonna open this and it comes, it says, what does it say? It's sent with love from the UK. And then, um, whoops, fragile, fragile. Um, if you are new to my channel, I do witchy subscription unboxings as well as self-care subscription unboxings and tarot and oracle deck unboxings and reviews. So, again, this is my first time ever getting this um, subscription box. Lighting, shit, witch casket. I don't think it has like a little lock and key. Everything else is just kind of that. It actually matches me. We match today. I don't, I'm not sure if I'm feeling this shirt or not, guys. It's, um, um, I love hoodies, but it's a, uh, it's LuLaRoe which I love, like all my leggings are LuLaRoe um, because I live in them, but um, I don't know. This pattern looked a little different online. I feel a little like it's an old lady shirt, but it's really comfortable, so whatever. Anyways, what do you guys think? Ta-da, so we open it up. And it says witch casket like all over the place. And it says, uh, witch casket love magic February so there is our little it's a pamphlet and then um, we will not look at all this I wonder if I can just I'll read the introduction so it says greeting magical witches we hope you all we hope you can all feel the loving energy we poured into our February witch caskets there is so much happening in the world right now and it seems that any love we witches can put out into the universe is much needed. We hope the contents of this month's casket attract more loving energy into your lives and makes you realize just how worthy of love you are. Please read through the pamphlet as you can familiarize yourself with this month's magical items and any specialty selected suppliers. Specially selected suppliers. Your constant love and kindness have been so appreciated there's no question it's been very tough for everyone recently. But you all make us feel so appreciated and loved and we truly hope that you feel the same. We are so, so grateful for each and every one of you. Please do tag us in your social media posts and use the hashtag, hashtag witch casket so we can easily find and share your post. Yes. We notice and appreciate every single one of them and they bring so much light into our days. If you have any questions, your comments, you can email them at info at witchcasket.co.uk with your feedback. Until the next time, be well, Deb and Ella. So Deb and Ella are uh, mom and daughter. Like, I love it so much. I don't have any daughters, but I have a granddaughter, and I'm hoping she's gonna be a witch. Okay, we'll see. I'm pretty sure that um, she already loves all my crystals, so there you go. Okay, oh how cute. First up is this, oh, I don't know if you guys can see this very well, this artwork. How pretty is that? So it's a witch kind of like, hey, and she's putting a potion into her um, cauldron. She's got like a teacup hanging out to the side. So, yeah. Anyways, very nice. That's super adorbs. Okay, right on top we have seven days of self-love and gratitude. Contains everything you need for a week of reflection. So it is this bag and it's got the sticker with the info on there. Dare we open this? It 
contains everything you need for a week of reflection. I just saw something in the box. I could have used this. Well, you'll see what it is, but I could have used this like a week or so ago. All right, well, what do we got? What do we got? What is that? So we have a pinkish purple chime candle. We've got, oh, it's a pen. It says infinite magic. Yes, it's an ink pen. I will use it. And then we've got seven days of self-love and gratitude. The, this paper feels like um, one of those silky smooth um, tarot cards. Um, I have one on my desk or my, my altar right now. Anyways, it's very smooth and I like it. All right, seven, seven days of self-love and gratitude. You will need gratitude parchment sheet. Is this it? Yes. So they have seven days and each day it says, Today I am grateful for, today I'm proud of myself for. So it's just kind of a self-love little journaling prompts there for seven days. And then um, the pink candle, pen or pencil. At the end of each day, wind down, relax, and find a little peaceful time to reflect. Take a couple of deep cleansing breaths and focus on the highlights of your day. I swear, I need like a magnifying glass for all this shit. Or if your day hasn't gone too well, the lessons you may have learned. Fill in the parchment each day, noting down those things you are grateful for and the most proud of. This needn't be major. This is simply to ensure you focus on what's good in your life right now, no matter how small. If you've had a particularly bad day, it is quite appropriate for you to note down that you are proud of yourself for simply getting through it. After you have filled in the parchment for an entire week, light the pink candle and take some time to meditate and reflect on what you have learned and write that down too. Learning to feel joy and gratitude even for the smallest things can raise your vibration and attract a more joyous life. So that is the little thing that they included and it's got like a rose on the back. Very good. So we'll just back in our pouch. And right on top is a freaking, like, beanie hat, the craft. Oh, my God. I look... There we go. I always look bald when I wear these. <laughs> are you supposed... Are you supposed to, like... Oh, there we go. Hold on. Like, let it sag. Like, I, I feel like a rapper. Okay, anyways, how cute is that? I'm gonna keep it on. Just gonna keep it on. Okay, so I had said a long time ago that I don't understand why we always get like pens, like, like pens in things. Um, but now I'm seeing all these really cute pens and I'm like, I want the pens. So, I got some pens. Okay, I'm gonna move my light. Oh my gosh, there. I mean, it's kind of dark, but you see it. How cute! So it says love and peace, and they're like little potion bottles. I believe that they have a exclusive pen in um, each one of their boxes. So I keep saying I'm gonna make this thing where I can hang my pens. I haven't done it yet. Maybe I will try to do that like this weekend. But anyways, and then on the back it says peace and love, because that's what these are. That's pretty cute though, they're pretty cute. Okay, I don't know what to do next. All right, then we have Saffy B Wax Melts in Wild Rose. So they're little wax melts. Smell it. Yep, smells like rose. Very good. 
this may go into, um, I'm gonna be doing a giveaway. I don't know if I'm gonna wait for the other box that I'm getting. It's all, it was coming from Australia. Like I said, it's not a subscription box. It's actually, I'll go ahead and tell you, it's from the website Tragic Beautiful. And they had like some mystery like box and they were like, it's last time it sold out in like 10 minutes or something. And I was like, oh my God, I need it. So, <laughs> so I got it. I have zero idea really what's gonna be in it. I've never actually bought anything from Tragic Beautiful. They have very like gothic clothing and stuff like that. It's almost like, um, like the website um, Killstar. I like the aesthetic. I mean, I'm 45. I don't know why it looks like I've got like humongous boobs. Okay, anyways, whatever. Um, I feel like I'm too old for some of that aesthetic. And um, although I love black clothing and I can go super goth, um, I really do like colors. So anyways, but I love black too. I'm bipolar with my colors, like apparently. But anyways, um, when I saw one of the past boxes from Tragic Beautiful, it, um, it had like bath and body type stuff in it too. So I was like, okay, yeah, let's do it. But anyways, that's a whole nother thing. I'm doing a giveaway. I may wait for that box. It just landed in the US like yesterday. So we'll see when it gets here. And I will be putting up a video here on YouTube and I'll be putting, excuse me, <laughs> carbonation for my drink. Um, I'll be putting up stuff on Instagram about having a giveaway. So anyways, this might go in there because um, I usually burn incense instead of um, wax melts. All right, now we have Witch Casket Rose Kongu Emperor Tea. So it looks like that. I do love me some tea. Oh, okay, it's in there. Ooh, it looks like it's got like some hibiscus in there. And this cute little bag, it says their logo. Biodegradable bag. That's nice. Very nice. Tea, 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 tea. I like some tea. All right. What is next? Hmm. So we have this little scroll with a little witch casket sticker on it. Like I'm afraid to. I don't know if it goes with anything else. Six simple love spells. Nice. I don't know if you guys are able to pause and read, but there is six simple love spells. We've got a love bath, a love powder, love ring charm. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I paused on that because I was like, maybe this will get my boyfriend to propose. He's not a marrying man. Uh, not that he's not a good man. Um, he just thinks that marriage ruins relationships. Um, maybe it does. I don't know. I've been married twice. Whoops. But the second one was like, didn't count. It was like really quick. But anyways, um, but anyways, I would love to marry him. Um, but whatever. I'm happy if we don't. Uh, then we have a love incense. We have a high John love charm and love letter magic. I would never, by the way, do a spell on my boyfriend to make him propose to me. I would never do that. Um, I would never mess with someone's free will. <laughs> and listen, I don't think it'd work. <laughs> he, he's too, uh, strong willed okay so let's see okay so I have a little bag and we've got a little card in here it says witch casket rose quartz pendant pendulum oh my god I really do need to get a magnifying glass whoa okay hold on so oh so it's on a um a cord that I'm like totally fucking up. Oh, it's got one of those little like slidey deals so you can make it long or short. Oh, that's nice. 
but it's a black cord. And then we've got a little rose quartz, little hangy thingy. Yeah, this could definitely be either a necklace or a, um, or a pendulum. Very nice. All right, let's see if I can read this. I have to like, cause I'm getting old. Rose quartz is a gentle, loving stone of the heart. It vibrates with tenderness, compassion, and comforting energy. Wear this pendant to promote inner peace and love. This can also be used as a pendulum. Here's a very simple way to read with it. Hold the pendulum by the cord and allow it to become still and steady. If you do not have a pendulum board cloth, you can simply ask a yes, no question that you already know the answer to and use which way the pendulum swings. That allows you to ascertain the direction of your pendulum for yes, no. Then you can ask questions where the answer is unknown and see what insight the pendulum offers. Very nice. And then we've got another little sachet. All right. And it looks well, it looks like amethyst, but it's, uh, ooh, look at that. Again, like my lighting in here is shit. Um, I mean, I'm thinking it's amethyst. Yes, it is. Amethyst has long been recognized as one of the ultimate spiritual crystals. And in many ancient cultures, only royalty priests and priestesses had access. Oh my God, I'm gonna have a headache after reading these little bitty things. In the, in the mysteries and secrets of this stone. Oh, can only access, blah, blah, blah. A renowned physical and emotional healer, it's calm, serene energy makes this a great meditation aid. Amethyst is a natural uh, tranquilizer. It relieves stress and strain. Okay, put that right there. I'll put it right on my eyeballs. Um, soothes anxiety and irritability and calms anger, fear, and sorrow. I do love me some amethyst so much. It's very nice. All right. Put this guy back in there. I don't know what to get. Okay. Don't want to get this big thing even though I see it. Okay, let's see what this is. So we have this little container that says love. Is it going to be incense? I bet it's incense. Oh, I can already smell it. I don't know. I don't know. So anyways, yay, incense cones. I wonder if they're backflow. Probably not. I don't think so. Uh, the backflow. Um, th that guy. That little Buddha back there. He's a backflow incense guy. It's a cute little, it's a cute little, um, container that I can't close. There we go. Okay. Well, we're just going to go ahead and get this because it's right on top. But we have an altar tile. And it's got the, um, earth, air, fire, water, and spirit. Probably it's supposed to sit this way with spirit at the top. Nice, like, wood altar tile. You could even do like a crystal grid with this. Very nice. You could put um, a crystal for each element. So um, I would put my amethyst either at my crown or, um, yeah, I mean at my crown or your third eye. Yes. Maybe crown, clear quartz, and then third eye amethyst. Anyways. Very nice, me likey. Okay, and then we have our last item, and they just packed it with some peanuts, and it is a, oh, it's got a magnetic. So anyways, we have this box that says Love Spell, and it's a magnetic closure box. I love these little boxes. Oh my God. Okay, so you open it up, whoop, and then you throw things out of it. So it says, Witch Casket Love Self Love Bottle Kit. Oh, I love little bottle kits. Okay. Oh, here we go with some small writing. 
Relax and charge each item you will be using with your intention to promote self-love. Add the rose petals, okay. Let's just take out the contents and then we'll read it. So we have rose petals. We have, um, I think my lighting's crap, but it looks like um, baby rose quartz chips. We've got another little small baby charm, picky purple. And then we have our little glass with the cork bottles. Okay, so it says, add the rose petals and the rose quartz chips to the bottle. Feel free to add in anything else you feel will add potency to the spell. This is optional. Cork the bottle and seal it with wax from the pink candle. As you allow the candle to burn down, meditate on all of your good qualities as you feel the love of the universe surrounding you. Very cute. It's our little card. I love these boxes. These are super adorbs. Okay, so I think that is it. So let's look at their paperwork. And wooden elements altar board. So it's this guy. Witch casket exclusive. Exclusively designed and crafted just for you, our magical witch casket subscribers. A beautiful wooden altar tile, excuse me, altar board representing all of the elements. A captivating addition to any magical space, which is not only decoration, but can be incorporated into your spells and rituals. Right, exactly. You could, um, oops, I'm like throwing shit everywhere. I get this humongous big candle. So I could use that just as a candle stand, um, which I have this on a different one. Um, what is happening here? Uh, like I said, Crystal Grid is really great. Oh my God. Sorry, Isis fell out of her, uh, her card stand. All right, girl, I right, sit still. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Self Love Bottle Kit. This guy. This enchanting box holds everything you need to create a powerful charm bottle to promote the self love you deserve. And it just says the contents, which we already knew. And then we have our enamel pen set potion bottles. Okay. Witch casket exclusive. Oh, they're all, everything is saying witch casket exclusive. Okay. Because peace and love go hand in hand, we created an enchanting set of potion pens for February. May peace and love be with you all, wherever you go. Very nice. And then we have our, was it this? Yes. No. Oh. Six. Six simple love spells parchment scroll. Okay. A beautiful parchment scroll containing six secret spells written exclusively for witch casket subscribers to invoke love of all kinds. I'm sorry I showed that. It's supposed to be for subscribers. Guys, hurry up and subscribe so I didn't like leak the secrets. This information can be copied to your grimoire book of spells, or you can simply place the sheet inside your spell book. Framed, these scrolls can also add Splendor to the walls of your home. My boyfriend will kill me if I fucking put anything up on these walls. <laughs> he doesn't understand that it's not just me. Like, we witches, we hoard shit, okay? We, like, what looks like clutter to everybody else is amazing aesthetic to us. Like, leave your comments below if you feel the same because I need my boyfriend to understand it's not just me. So, anyways, okay. And then we have our The Craft Beanie. I'm super excited about this beanie, oh my God. <laughs> and if I leave a little bit of hair out, I don't look bald. The Craft Beanie. Be bold about your dedication to the craft. Yes, fucking yes. Um, while staying snug and warm by wearing our bewitching beanie, you bet. I'm so wearing this out in the world. And then we have our seven days of love ritual 
kit. Learning to feel joy and gratitude, even for the smallest things, can raise your vibration and attract a more joyous life. Sealed inside the black envelope is everything you need for a week of reflection. And we already know what's in it. And then we have our love incense cones. All right, most of this, uh, most of this is um, witch casket exclusive. I'll let you know if it's from a different company. Okay, incense has been used for centuries as a meditative aid and also for spiritual cleansing, sacred traditions, and rituals. Light the incense and allow the magical aroma to sweep through your space, removing negative energies and leaving behind a beautiful, calming atmosphere. Our opulent patchouli, I thought I smelled patchouli, incense con cones can also be used as part of any love spell or ritual. Patchouli is um, like for love. Rose Wax Melt by Safi B. It says Witchcast exclusive. This month we teamed up with the amazing Safi B to create these bespoke rose wax melts made with soy wax and imbued with 100% pure rose essential oils. These natural melts will carry their beautiful and magical aroma around your home. Visit Safi on Instagram. Sa S-A-F-F-I-E dot B-E-A or her website is www dot S-A-F-F-I-E B-E-A dot C-O dot U-K and then we have our rose quartz pendant um, oh I'm wearing it <laughs> this is not exclusive obviously wear this gentle loving stone to attract love of all kinds rose quartz can also help to restore trust and harmony in relationships and heal the heart from past experiences can also be used as a pendulum for divination. And then we have our rough cut um, amethyst. Amethyst has long been recognized as one of the ultimate spiritual crystals. I feel like we already read this. Yes, okay, it just says what's in the little card. I guess I could have read this bigger paper. And then we have Rose Congo, Congo Loose Leaf Tea, which is in this guy by Tea Cakes of Yorkshire. I feel like I'm really drinking like, like super tea if it's from England. Anyways, um, luxury ingredients are black tea, rose petals. Oh, it's rose petals. It looked like hibiscus. Natural flavors, organic compliant. Antioxidant level high, caffeine content medium properties. When stirred clockwise or uh, Diosol. I just said that it's not in here. Uh, when stirred clockwise with the intent to encourage love, this tea can become a magical witch's brew. Sip mindfully and feel yourself being surrounded by a veil of gentle and loving energy. So clockwise is um, Diosol and counterclockwise is Wittershins in case you wanted to know that. Art print. Oh yes. By Aquadin A so it's this is their Instagram handle A Q U A D N E. I'm gonna look this person up because that is so pretty. I love it. We are so happy to be able to include another of Aquadin's magnificent art prints in our casket this month. So I guess they've used her or him before. Don't know their pronouns. Oh, she. Hmm. What an amazing talent she is. All spells and rituals are, cre okay, and then, all spells and rituals are created by Witch Cast Kids co-founder, Deb, an experienced practicing witch exclusively for Witch Casket. All right, and then, if you'd like your Witch Casket pick to feature here on our back page, oh fun, please hashtag Hashtag Witch Casket and hashtag Witch Casket Features so we know we have your permission to use it with credit on the back page of our pamphlet. We will choose a few of the most enchanting and creative pictures each month to feature here. Oh, how great. So there's like, oh, yeah. Okay, there you go. I mean, it's kind of dark, but it has like some people's stuff and then. It's got their Instagram uh, handles or whatever you call it. 
Awesome, how cute. Um, I am not the best photographer in the world. I also just take it with my phone. I need to get like an actual camera. So anyways, all right guys, so this is my first um, witch casket. I think there were some really cool items in here. Um, I love that they give you like spell kits and stuff. That's super fun. Um, and I actually, even though I said like, why the fuck do I need pens? I think they're so cute. So I'm changing my mind about that. It's another one of those, I'm going to hoard things that I don't need. So my boyfriend will be so pleased. So now I have like, well, cause I got this pen from one of my tarot decks and then I have another pen from a tarot deck. So I'm like, okay, these are so cute. So now I want them. Anyways, I'm gonna put this somewhere. So guys, what do you think? Have you ever seen this box before? Um, I've been kind of stalking it on other people's pages to see if it was something that I wanted and it seemed like they had pretty good stuff. So um, I decided to go for it. Um, even though it's in a different country, the shipping, I will post it below if I can remember. I'll have to figure that out. I think with shipping, this was like 51 and some change to the US. Um, so, you know, I'm down for it, whatever. So I'll link this box below um, if you guys wanted to subscribe to it. I'd love to hear your comments. What do you think about this box? And if you um, have not subscribed to me yet, I'd love if you'd hit that little subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment below, and check me out on Instagram. Thank you guys. Have a great day. Bye.